If you guys follow me on TikTok, you are well aware that I live with a tiny zoo in my bedroom. Um, yes, you heard me correctly. I live with nine different animals in my bedroom. It, it gets crazy at times, but I honestly wouldn't change it for the world because I love all of these animals, but it does get a little crazy. So I'm gonna take you guys along with a average day with my tiny zoo. <laughs> right now it is around lunchtime. I'm trying to get this all done before the solar eclipse happens because it's gonna get a little dark out. Not that my lighting's good anyways, but you know. So let's get into it. <laughs> First up, we have Otis. Um, he took a massive dookie on his basking slate. So let's clean that off first. And by the way, nobody warned me about how smelly bearded dragon poo is. Oh God, rancid. <laughs> dude that is massive anyways it's lunchtime for otis so let's go ahead and feed him i got this bowl which is amazing the buggies can't escape from it so it makes it like super easy for him to like you know who's my handsome boy and in here is just calcium that i season the buggies with this is fly larva oh these things are foul let me try to get a close-up there's the handsome man here are the so something I've noticed is he's very lazy. He wants me to deliver it right there, but I'm kind of want him to, you know, work a little. All right, sometimes I like need to help him. There we go. What in the, what? And then the second I turn around, he devours them. So that's great. Okay, and then next up I have my fishies. I've actually already fed them, so I'm not going to be feeding them again, but. How could I forget you? Oh, and she's licking her butthole. We love it. And then this is Chester's home base. No, I do not lock him in here ever. He has accessed my entire bedroom, but I just filled his litter box up with some fresh hay and he's munching as usual. All he does is eat, sleep, and poo. Right, Chester? Okay. Let me spot clean my pigs real quick and then show you their cage because right now there is doo-doo everywhere. So, here we go. <laughs> and then this is where my guinea pigs live. Yes, they take up like my entire bedroom, but it's fine because I love them. Where's Murphy? Oh, <laughs> but yeah. The main comment I get about my little zoo is, girl, I know your room stank. Okay, it. <laughs> I wanna let everybody know that I got a humongo air purifier in the corner over here. A life changer, life changer. If you have a bunch of pets in your room, air purifier, you're welcome. Soy candles best friends i love me some soy candles they're animal safe and they smell so good and along with cleaning them every single day you know my room it it's fine it really is fine maybe i'm a little nose blind but no my room does not smell rancid okay i am very good this is my job this is my i am a stay-at-home pet mom so i have plenty of time for all my babies and plenty of time for cleaning no my room is not stinky not always anyways and a lot of people are always like what does your room look like please just show me your room so let me show you my room ignore the giant treadmill that i have in my room i was motivated to use it for like a week and then I got lazy. But anyways, let me show you my room. So here you go. <laughs> my bed is like way too big, but it's fine. Yes, the moons are messed up. Nobody comment on those. And then, yeah, that treadmill's got to go immediately, but my room is fine. I still got plenty of space, plenty of room to do things. <laughs> also, how cute is this candle? I wouldn't trade my tiny zoo for... I wouldn't trade my tiny zoo for absolutely anything. I love every single one of my animals. How did this even... Okay, anyways, um, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and maybe like the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>